we are finally have the opportunity to break ground on a project that we've been hoping for for a long time. We're going to build a deck connecting these two buildings between our garage and our house. And it's going to be our new awesome outdoor area, but it's also going to connect the two buildings together. So we're pretty excited about it, and they're digging the footings for the thing right now. And what are you doing? Uh, I'm practicing with my bow. Not, still not shooting great, so got to get as much practice as I can. Leaving soon? Leaving today. Yeah, you watch me shoot four or five targets and then go in the park. Okay. Hey, did you get Skeeto bit? Yeah. Ouch! A lots of Skeeto bites. We are in Redding, California for the Western Trail Classic. I just want to take an opportunity to introduce you guys to my good friend, Paul. Uh, we've been shooting, well, he shoots for Prime. I shoot for Prime as well. Uh, he shoots a lot better for Prime than I do, <laughs> but um, it's, it's been a pleasure shooting with them, with him and the whole rest of the Prime crew out here. And uh, Paul's kind of taking me under his wing and teaching me some things about archery, teaching me about how to shoot better. And uh, I've been able to return the favor. I put him in touch actually with my um, sports psychologist and just help talk him through the head game side of things which you know every athlete struggles with and part of the reason I'm so drawn to archery is just because um, it is a head game you know it's it's if anything it's more mental than what I do on skis so um, Paul talk about I don't know your your shoot this weekend how things are going yeah it's going good uh, actually we we're just looking at the scorecards we're a little over halfway done with today so kind of on the downhill slide for the day these days out in the Sun they get a little bit uh, long and you know just a little bit uh, yeah. so yeah it's going good though we're over halfway done with the whole tournament so Paul's lot he's shooting lights out that's what he's not <laughs> telling you he's yeah absolutely hammering I like to uh, I, I think of it as you know there's still quite a few arrows left so there's a few arrows left yeah. for sure it's probably like in a I would imagine maybe a ski race or a contest you got some some jumps some left grind to do, days, right? yeah <laughs> for sure Guys, tell everybody to shoot straight. Tell all these people around here. Say, hey, hey. Say, hey Tim, shoot straight. To him. He's Tim. Say, shoot straight. No? Did you want to say it? Yeah, shoot straight. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, all good things must come to an end. And our nice little family weekend in Redding, the Redding area, we're at Shasta, has to come to an end. I shot uh, somewhere slightly above thumbs sideways, not thumbs down, not thumbs up, but thumbs like slightly there. I Sayonara, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in and uh, we will see you on our next adventure. You'd go tumbling into that hole and then we'd have to pour you into the deck. I don't know. Those are going to be all apples someday. Every single one of those buds is going to be an apple. So here we are. Once upon a time I had a dream of connecting the main house to the garage upstairs. Because that space up there above the garage is, is uh, pretty raw, but it's an area that we could refurbish, or furbish I guess, not refurbish, we could furbish it and make it into a little uh, separate apartment or something like that. So I had this dream of building a deck between the two buildings. To me it seemed really simple and I was just going to build it myself. You know, some two by fours, a little bit of deck material, all good. Turns out there's a whole lot more to it than I had, I had earlier anticipated. So we're really lucky. We have a friend, Johnny Adrian from the Adrian Build. Uh, who was willing to help us with the plans, help us get it all approved by the city. We actually had to get it engineered and everything along the way and we're at the beginning stages. Well, we're pretty well into the beginning stages, I would say. He's like this. So here we are. This is the space above the garage and something that we're very excited about turning into a little mother-in-law cottage slash spare bedroom slash hangout zone. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously it's kind of a blank slate, so we're excited about it. But the cool thing about it is going to be this window here is going to be a door out onto our giant deck that's going to span between the two buildings. And then there's going to be a door out the other side of that building. So um, it's just a deck, but it's also a deck that connects these two buildings and is going to give us some extra living space. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. that one, that one. And Daddy's just there to make sure you don't fall. Deal? Yeah. Looking back and forth at the camera is not okay. <laughs> Gotta redo it. Redo it. Director <laughs> says redo it. Director says you suck. <laughs> Start over. Again, better. Again, better. <laughs> so, here we are. This is the crappy closet that I hate. And we are getting rid of the crappy closet that I hate because it's too small. Uh, to be really useful, but too big, it's a waste of space. So it's going to become a hallway and the entrance to the deck. Entrance, exit to the house, deck. It's going to be great. Daddy, 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 look at this fire. Oh, it's a fire extinguisher. Mm-hmm. Daddy, look at it.